Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Math 10C. Shh, I'm talking. Cha chapter 2, Lesson 6, Applying the Trig Ratios. Calculate the lengths and angles using tan, sine, and cos. Now, I said lengths first. Shh, ladies, stop now. Don't make me call you out on the internet. Now, the formulas on the formula sheet are nice, but remember I said for the lengths, you rewrite them. Now, I believe tangent is opposite equals adjacent times tan of theta. All right. Now, if you're going to use the angle exactly as it is on the formula sheet, tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. So if I give you the two sides and ask for the angle, use tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. And then angle theta is tan to the minus 1 of opposite divided by, uh, divided by adjacent. Remember that. Now, sine, the only one that's directly on your formula sheet is the tangent, this one here. But I did tell you to put this one on your formula sheet, and I handed out markers. Yes, I screwed it up, and I said several bad words, and I gave you time to fix it. Now, for sine, it is opposite equals hypotenuse times sine of theta. That's to find the side length. So if you have the opposite or the hypotenuse and you have to find the other side, use that formula. Now, on your formula sheet, that is sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And if you're finding the angle... Do I want to know why you're whispering and giggling when I'm talking about something you're supposed to know? Yes? Okay. Now. No. I screwed this. I screwed up the hypotenuse. Oh, sorry. Stop. That's what I'm asking you guys. Opposite equals hypotenuse times sine of theta is correct. Adjacent equals hypotenuse times cos of theta. You weren't here when we did the tangent. So if you don't have this, I'm sorry, I was just asked in class about this formula, tangent. Some students missed that class. And yes, I screwed up the formula giving it to you. So put it on your formula sheet, please. Now, for the rest of you guys, cosine. To find the sides, if you have adjacent hypotenuse, I suggest this version. This should be review for you guys. Now, here's the problem with Math 10C. You have six different versions of this formula, two for tangent, two for sine, two for cos, that you have to know how to use. All right, and now the trick is, of course, I'm going to give you a question, and I'm going to go solve it. Now, the first one is an angle. Now, these two are angles. Ma'am, do I have to? So if someone hadn't quite finished copying this out. All right, you have the tangent one here. Nope. Opposite adjacent tan theta. No, everything's correct as written. Yeah. Yes. So, these are the formulas. They should be written on your formula sheets now. If not, do it or figure something out because I've told you enough times. I'm getting tired of this. Pay attention, do what you're told to do. Now, here, this black triangle, what are we finding? The angle. I'm going to arbitrarily call this angle theta. What side, what other information are we given? Which one is the adjacent? The one beside the angle is adjacent. And 7 centimeters opposite. So opposite and adjacent, looking for the angle, what trig ratio? Opposite and adjacent? Now, some of my students are going, which formula do I use? Because they are either trying to memorize this or they're too lazy to look at the formula sheet. If you're trying to memorize this, I'm impressed, but it's a lot of work. I would suggest looking at the formula sheet because it's a poop load easier. So... The opposite side is 
And the adjacent is? So angle theta is 10 to the minus 1 of 7 over 11, which is? All right, let's go to one decimal place. What are you getting? 0. 0.4 degrees. Okay, now that's a reasonable number. Now, I want you guys to look at this and then try the purple one. I will help you. Now, I want you to do this on your slates so I can see your work. Okay. Now. All right. Yes, that's what I asked you to do. Why on your slates so you can hold it up. You can see me. I can see it and I go, ooh! Now. Okay. So, for this purple one, what am I looking for? No, I'm looking for an angle. I'm going to call it theta. What inf other what information have I given you? The yes, this is opposite. I know it's opposite because yes, it's opposite the angle. And what is the side opposite to the right angle? Hypotenuse. So be careful. I can be p picking talk about the two opposite sides just to confuse you. Now. Opposite and hypotenuse, I'm looking for the angle. Goodly. What trig ratio do I use? Uh, hang on, I'm getting ahead of me. Sine of theta is opposite. Six over ten. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Getting ahead of me. Sorry, I have a couple of overzealous students uh, yelling out answers. I'm not certain if it can be picked up on the microphone. Opposite over hypotenuse, that's sine, and 6 over 10. And I'm sorry, as you were saying? All right. Now, the young lady in question, angle theta, is sine minus 1, 6 over 10. All right, can you show me your work in 3, 2, 1? Of course. 36.8 what? 8, 9, which becomes... Nine degrees. Thank you. Yes. Now, having a little trouble with the rounding off to getting 36.89. 89 is closer to 90. All right. Now, all right. So, so far so good? All right. Now, as I said, solving. You guys have shown me you can plug the numbers in the formula and solve fairly readily. The big question here is which formula do you use? Now, hang on. That's why we're practicing. That's why we're practicing with the slates. So, let's look at this blue one here. Z, 11 centimeters, 72 degrees. What have I given you? Yes, we have an angle. And this is the hypotenuse. And what am I asking you to find? The unknown? It's the opposite. So, opposite hypotenuse and angle. Sign. Now, careful. I'm looking for a side length. So how do I rewrite that equation? Yes, opposite equals hypotenuse times sine. Yes. I know from uh, unfortunate experience about a third of you guys will turn this into a, try doing it as a cosine because you mix up the formulas and one of you will do it as a tan just for some reason. And then there's always somebody that tries to do this as Pythagoras, even though you only have one side, which just hurts. So, opposite is hypotenuse times sine. Now, what's my opposite side here? So Z. My hypotenuse is centimeters, and my angle is? Now, what is sine of 72? That we have to figure out. Zero point. Okay. So 11 centimeters times 0 0.9510 is what? 10.461, which rounds off to 10.5 centimeters. Right. Reasonable? Yes. If you think about it, and look at this picture, the hypotenuse is 11, the opposite side is fairly long, and has, since the hypotenuse is the longest side, this has to be shorter than 11, so 10.5 is a reasonable number. All right, now, all right, now, I want you guys to do the green ones, and you're going to show me, I, 
seriously turn that damn phone off now. No, 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 no. I'm the sarcastic one. You're the quiet one. Now, as I was saying, this green one, I need you to solve for side M. Now, the biggest single question that I do not want you to answer quite yet, but I will ask in a minute, which, what is side M? Shh, I said in a minute. God help me, wait. I want you guys to figure it out and work on it before you blurt out answers. Uh, keeners. Anyway. And I can't drink a cup of tea holding. All right, so what's, what have I given you here? We have an angle and and the opposite, this opposite the angle. What side, what is side M? What are we looking for? It's the shorter side next to the angle. So opposite and adjacent is what, what trig ratio? Tangent. Now, since we're looking for the side, that should be opposite equals adjacent times tan of theta. Now, what is the, do we know the opposite side? Yes, we do. Okay, so we have the opposite. What is the adjacent side? Yes, the unknown M. And the angle is 5 degrees. So, what is tan of 55 degrees? So... 9.3 meters equals M times 1.327. What comes after the 7? 327. 1.0327? Okay, look, I have three of you telling me a number. Somebody. 1.3270. Thank you. Now, are you in... All right, now it's tan of 55. Are you in degree mode or radian? All right, so you did give me the wrong answer. So it is what, I'm sorry? Okay, now, this is the reason I write out the formula and this is the reason I need you to show work because sometimes it's multiply, but in this case, how do we get rid of times 1.4? Divide both sides by 1.4. So what is side M? What comes out to the 5? 6.5 meters. All right. Now, so far so good? Now, unfortunately, we're out of time, so I'm going to pause the recording now. I'll finish this tomorrow. I am, and I'm going to put this on tape, hand out the check you're understanding now so you can start it. Okay? And,